Josh Hawley. <laughs> you may know Josh Hawley is a deeply, deeply detestable figure who was elected in 2018 uh, in Missouri, Republican senator. He was the Republican attorney general before that, where he ran for office attacking others for climbing ladders and never waiting, never sticking with a job. And like within a month or a week or maybe a day, he declared he was running for the U.S. Senate. You know, he's sort of Ted Cruz, Missouri version, like literally one of the five most hated uh, figures. Other senators can't stand him uh, in his own party, his own caucus, who even believe the bullshit that he spouts. He also uh, has the distinction of being the first one to say he was going to vote to oppose accepting electoral votes, um, certifying the electoral votes from a few of the states where he claimed there was, you know, oh, there was chicanery or whatever there was. And of course, he had no evidence whatsoever. He just um, was trying to demagogue his way to a Republican uh, presidential nomination in 2024 or 2028. It's tough to outdo uh, Ted Cruz in the sleaze department. You know, you gotta you gotta put on a fat suit and head on down to Cancun for that. So, in any case, uh, Josh Hawley now is is speaking up about the Homeland Security Disinformation Board again. There to protect our country, there to stop disinformation that is clearly coming from Vladimir Putin and other autocratic countries um, from coming into this country and harming Americans, getting Americans to do things that harm themselves, getting them to believe things that will lead them to harm them themselves. But the problem is, is that Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz and people like that benefit from this because, first of all, they don't tell the truth about anything. But second of all, also the far right um, is who people like Vladimir Putin support. Um, they're fascists. They're Christian nationalists. They want a, a large autocratic movement of, of dictators across the country that can sort of split up the spoils and screw everybody else. So here's what Mr. Hawley had to say on Twitter. Um, here's the White House again. He was attacking, um, of course, Jen Psaki. Here's the White House again, avidly promoting censorship and the use of government to silence speech it dislikes. This is the most anti-First Amendment administration in American history. Mind you, Josh Hawley is all for banning books and libraries. That part of free speech is, is completely not important to him. In fact, it, it's important that kids not be able to read what he doesn't want them to read. He's spoken out on that numerous times. Um, he doesn't care about the First Amendment at all. He doesn't really know the First Amendment well at all in terms of um, what it really means. He just knows what benefits him politically. So his attacks on the Biden administration should be expected and nobody should worry much about them. The bigger issue here, of course, is he's joining this chorus of voices. And of course, these same voices are coming from Russia, or <laughs> shock, and, and other countries. They're coming from bots and they're coming from the Ted Cruz's of censorship. Mind you, this is the way that people like Josh Hawley will stop us from getting, from his, stop, from his people telling out and out lies, from his people saying that COVID's not real or the, you'd better drink your own urine, uh, obviously, with a couple of olives and uh, uh, some vermouth uh, to stop, uh, you know, to stop COVID from infecting you. Um, and these other lies these people have told that have hurt people. And they're Vladimir Putin ass kissing for years that they only switched on when it became so obvious that this man was mass murdering innocent Ukrainians. They couldn't hold on to that position anymore. Um, so he is now doing his best again on Twitter to attack the American government, to defend Russia, to defend disinformation. This is not about the First Amendment, folks. This is about people getting the kind of information they need in a democracy to make sound decisions for themselves, for their families, and for voting. Uh, the Josh Hawleys of the world need to be stopped. Uh, we need to make sure that the Josh Hawleys of the world don't just get to make up lies and have a billion bots back them up in those lies so Americans harm themselves. Again, this is Josh Hawley. This is the guy that raised his fist to encourage incitement of an attack on the Capitol that led to deaths of police, that led to 140 plus injuries, stabbings, you know, stompings and, and the rest, led to people wiping feces on the wall. That's this guy. His fist in the air will forever now be associated with what occurred there. Um, and he's never apologized for it. In fact, he sells mugs with that image on there uh, of him encouraging an attack on the United States government. Josh Hawley is an awful human being. He's not to be trusted. And again, he is your modern Republican Party.